Chemotherapy in general can affect your skin in several different ways. It can dry your skin out, you can get a rash. Some medications that we give to treat cancer cause a rash that looks like acne, which is on your, can develop on your face and on your chest and on your back. Other medications cause what we call hand and foot syndrome, where the palms of your hand and, and the soles of your feet become red, calloused, cracked, and can even become painful. So there are many different skin care methods that we can use to help prevent this from happening. Some patients say that they felt like their skin was burning from the inside out after their chemotherapy. By limiting your showers to five to 10 minutes and using warm water instead of hot water might alleviate some of that. Using a mild soap to bathe in and also using an anti-dandruff shampoo to help relieve any scalp discomfort. Some people will even use the anti-dandruff shampoo as a body wash to help alleviate dry, itchy skin. When you get out of your shower, pat your skin dry instead of rubbing it and apply a moisturizing cream that does not contain any alcohol or fragrance. Fragrances and alcohol can be very irritating to your skin. Chemotherapy in general also makes your skin a lot more sensitive to sunlight. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding direct sunlight. And if you must go out in direct sunlight, make sure you're wearing a hat and sunscreen with at least an SPF of 30. When your skin is sensitive, would be loose, comfortable clothing. I know bras are very, in particular, can be very bothersome to a woman. So buying a sports bra that might be a few sizes larger than what you normally wear might be more comfortable for you. Also, when you're around the house, making sure that you're wearing thick socks with nice, comfortable slippers or shoes. Getting a good night's sleep is also very important uh, by turning off the TV, promoting a relaxing environment before you go to bed, avoiding alcohol and caffeine before you go to sleep. Also, when you're in bed, you wanna think about what you're wearing to bed also. You might not have hair and so your head is cold. Many patients like to wear a cap made of jersey knit to keep their head warm while they're sleeping. If you have a rash that becomes very bothersome, you need to call your doctor. Also, if the palms of your hands are sore and tender to where you cannot perform your daily activities, or if the soles of your feet keep you from walking or make it painful to walk, make sure you call your doctor.